we're going to share with you something we haven't seen any other agency share. We're going to tell you what the average length and cost was for our last nine projects. Hi, I'm David Burkett, Chief Growth Officer at Working Mouse. Now, if you're like me, your preferred learning style is through video. So I'm here to give you a quick summary of the software pricing guide. A common question we get asked is, why can't you just give me a price range and be done with it? I'm gonna answer this question in more depth, as well as breaking down the pricing structure and the reasoning behind it. But why are we doing this? Well, the answer is simple. At the end of the day, our biggest goal has always been to remove the fear of building software through transparency and education. That's why we're telling you everything you need to know upfront about the costs of building custom software. So let's get into it. We're gonna dive into the pricing and average project costs shortly, but before we do, it's important to understand why the costs are what they are. This will enable you to determine whether an agency is good value, too expensive, or too cheap. Yes, that's right. The alarm bell should be ringing if an agency is too cheap. Research suggests the average salary for a software developer in Australia right now is $94,000 a year, and this figure is only going up. But this number doesn't tell the whole story. Every organization has overheads like equipment, electricity, rent, office space, and subscriptions. So let's add on another 30% per employee. We can't forget superannuation, that'll add another 10%. Every agency needs a margin. CSI Market says the figure sits around 30% for professional service companies. So now that we've taken all of that into consideration, let's do the math. Per week, the average software developer will cost around three to $4,000. To determine whether you're getting the right price, let's take our calculation and extrapolate it out. It's unwise to rely on a single developer to build an application themselves, so let's start with a team of two developers. Next, we need a scrum master or project manager to keep the project on track, a project designer to research and design the best user experience, and we'll want to bring in a customer success consultant to monitor the success of the application. Assuming a similar average salary, We'll have three to four full-time resources per week at around three to four thousand dollars. This leads to an average weekly rate of around ten to sixteen thousand dollars. Before we get into the four stages of software development, it's important to establish the different types of projects you could be building. We've broken it down into three categories. One, a proof of concept. This is an application that is built to validate an idea or concept. Two, an MVP or minimum viable product is the leanest version of your full product that can be tested. And three, product development. This is continued development of your polished product. Now we're ready to dive into the four stages that will impact the cost of your project. Stage one is brief. The costs involved during this stage should be minimal. At Working Mouse, we guide clients through this stage free of charge. The brief stage looks at unpacking and understanding the problem. Similar to a doctor prescribing medication, before recommending a solution and a price, software development agencies must understand the problem that must be solved. Some of the key outputs from this stage include a problem statement, a recommended scope time frame, and an initial product strategy. The next stage that impacts costs is scope. Elsewhere, it may go by another name, so look out for design or analysis that precedes development. There should be a big red flashing light that screams caution if a development agency doesn't have a scoping stage. During this stage, the focus is on finding the solution. The usual deliverables at the end of scope is a backlog, prototype, estimations, and a proposal for development. The cost associated has been separated into the type of project you're building. As we mentioned before, this varies due to the time allotted for each one. So, for a proof of concept, the stage costs around $5,000. For an MVP, it's usually between eight dollars to $12,000, and for a product development, it's approximately $35,000. The third stage that impacts costs is development of the application. Because you went through scoping in stage two, you'll have an idea of how much development is likely to cost. A bit of a pro tip here, ensure that scientific estimations are included to account for factors like risk and quality. During development, it's important to build in iterations. This means you don't have to wait until the end of the project to see your application demonstrated. As you might expect, development has the biggest cost. For a proof of concept, expect a budget between $30,000 and 
For an MVP, development may cost between $70,000-$80,000 and for product development, the cost varies pretty significantly. There is no maximum threshold. Hypothetically, you could build for years and spend millions of dollars. Plenty of big corporations do. But if you want to keep your product lean to begin with, costs usually start around $90,000. The final stage that will impact your cost is support. Every agency has their own way of handling support. It may mean a stringent service level agreement process or something less structured. Either way, experts suggest that you should budget between 10 to 20% of the cost of development. So if you spend $100,000 developing your software, budget between 10 to $20,000 per year on supporting and maintaining it. Be sure to also take into account other operational expenses. Services like hosting and the app store should be included within the budget. These add up to around $500 per month. Now, this is where it gets very interesting. We're going to share with you something we haven't seen any other agency share. We're gonna tell you what the average length and cost was for our last nine projects. I'll preface this by saying, these were all product development engagements and were not part of the POC or MVP offerings I was referencing earlier. The average scope length was three weeks. The average development length was just under 10 weeks and the average project cost was 118K. For product development projects, now you can understand the cost involved with software development, it's time to consider progressing your product strategy. We recommend answering the questions in the assessment below to get a clear idea of what the next step is on your software journey. It should only take you between one to two minutes and you'll get a clearer understanding of what stage you're at. 